So what is this? Paxillus. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. It's funny, the colour does look redder in the photos in the centre, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that little jelly bell here. This is another, this is another fungi. This is jelly fungi. Right. Um, you were so saying we got, two sorts of fungi, you are so saying? The, yeah, so this is um, a saprophytic fungi mm -hmm. and that breaks down dead organic matter and that's how it gets its, its food. And uh, mycorrhizal fungi attach their hyphae to the root systems of plants and help the plants to absorb water and nutrients and um, protects the plant from disease and insect attack and in return it gets sugars from the plants. So obviously none of the fungi has chlorophyll, can't photosynthesize. Oh look at that. That's um Schizophilum communi. Schizer. Schizer. Oh, Someone hold that. I'm going to do the scribing. <laughs> yeah, I've got some really bad Shizer spelling film. there. Yeah. <laughs> so when you someone squashed an egg, I think there's a slime a slime mold. Yeah. Yeah. So slime molds are often grouped in with fungi. Yeah. But they're not an actual fungi. Um. But they have a similar life stage to fungi, but then they can just get up and move by themselves. What is it? Slime mold. Oh, so this one's Gamasibe. They're beautiful. The Splendida. Yeah, Splendida it is. <laughs> and um, they make a beautiful natural dye. Wow. What yeah. These ones are a little bit washed out, but. What colour they are underneath, the oh, orange underneath. They're, they're usually much darker than that. Oh, actually yeah, this might be Kermandia. Anyway, um, here's a little button. A little baby button. Mm. <laughs> What's the life cycle of these? What are they? Uh, so this is a mycorrhizal fungi. So mm. the actual fruiting body is... Um, so this is the fruiting body. The actual organism is mainly underground and it's just a, a web of cobweb-like cobweb -like hyphae and every winter it pops out its little fruiting bodies. Um, I don't know what this one is, it's just an unidentified ascomycete. What's ascomycete? It's just a different uh, kind of fungi. So there's Two main groups, the basidiomycetes and the ascomycetes. And basidiomycetes are the ones that are more common, commonly known, like the ones with gills and pores and spines and leather and bracket fungi and uh, stuff like that. They're different in their microscopic details of their spores and their basidia. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. An ascomycete is often much smaller, too, isn't it? Ascomycete. A little mycena. Look at its cute little pointy cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's all that. Sort of almost mycena pure. It's all the little hyphae down the bottom there. See the little threads? Yeah. Is Vaughan still around? I haven't seen him for a long time. So this is Gymnopolis elantipus. Ooh, what do you got there? Lovely. You see all the little curly springtails in there. What's this one? This one is, I don't know, I have to have a look at the top. Oh, go away. I think it's a little ah. crepidotus. Yeah, it looks like it, but it's like a probably changed its color. Yeah, it has. Yeah. This so one looks like custard. Oh, so no. that no, it's one, very poisonous. So that one, what do you call? <laughs> oh, Gymnopolis GYM. G yep. Gymnopolis Atlantipus. Ammonite, you said? Yeah. Mm. And it's left over from its kind of like a little umbrella over the top of it. It's called the universal. As it opens up, it breaks. And do only it. ammonites have those? No, not. 
quite agaricus have it as well, I think. Oh, what's that brood? This is a little wax cap. So this is a this is a wax cap. So this is a hygrocybe. Well, I probably shouldn't say They're very cute, aren't surprised. they? Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Incredible colour. Yeah, very white, and it graduates down to a, a yellow. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, little one. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Is this the same species as before? Yep. I don't want to pick too many because I can go out on our farm. And like this is a blue a staining bolete, so if we make a mark in it, it changes I'd colour. I'd be really interested blue. to get to, to use them for dyeing. Yeah, to see what definitely. colour comes out of them. Uh, what I'll do, Prue, right, when I get round to it, I'll, wow. I'll, I'll do some dyeing and, I'll, and, I'll, and you can have the, some samples of the wool. And, Ooh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Ew, gross. This one's just a brown staining bullet, so it's a different species to the one we just found. Yeah. They're not showing up their colour as no. much because they're no, so wet. Out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, washed out. Well, this is an ammonita, and this is the vulva. It's like an, almost a complete one, and the, the fruiting body's grown out of that. Usually when we pick them up when they're a bit bigger, the vulva's already opened and a bit destroyed, so that's a complete one. Wow. This, just this is Postia pelliculosa, and it's got pores um, instead of yeah. gills, and there's a tiny baby button there. Jarra forest. I like this tephrosybe. This has got this really yes, leathery so stem. Could you bring that one over too? I'm just tephrosybe. Tephrosybe, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to go down and look at the orchids down the river for a few minutes. Okay, so this okay. is called Fistula anella hepatica or beefsteak fungus. And we'll just get the grossy bits off. I like to just peel this top bit off. And then we'll slice it up, and we'll have a feast. Wow. Are you sure you can eat that? Yeah. <laughs> you can even eat this gross top bit, but oh, okay. I don't like to. Where'd you find those just now? Just going on a jarra over there. Oh. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's get some. Everyone can have a bit of a snack. Yeah, it's great. Can try these? Yeah, um, over it. Yeah. That's, these ones cool. are the. They're more cooked, are they? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the fork. You guys gotta try one too. Look at this, guys. I must trust you. It's really beautiful. Oh, yum. Do you want a bit? Yeah. Isn't it great? That's really yum. Oh, wow. That's the best mushroom I've ever eaten. Do you want a sausage? No, I don't want a sausage. No, 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 no. Wow. Yeah, anybody who wants to sausage, they're really juicy. You sure? They're an amazing flavour. You can see why it's called a beef steak fungus. They're really meaty. That is so good. Beef steak fungus. Yes. Wow. Oh.